Hello and welcome to Phantom Forces Weapon Spotlight, a series where I give a more subdued and informative look on the weapons of Phantom Forces. In this episode, I'll be covering the FT-300 and I'll also be doing things completely differently, especially for this rifle. I usually go over weapon stats, but I feel like doing all the stats for the FT-300 individually is a bit of a waste of time. It's a lot of numbers that doesn't really amount to much practical difference. Plus, this weapon gets pretty complicated when it comes to attachments, so instead, I'm gonna be covering everything together. And I think that this will do the FT-300 justice better. But I will still show the one-shot body shot ranges later since it's important. Okay, I'd like to get started now. The FT-300 is a sniper rifle unlocked at a pretty high rank of 160. It's a bit of a niche sniper rifle and a pretty striking one at that, as it's a one-shot sniper rifle like the BFG-50. It sounds off-putting, and using it does feel a little off-putting as well, but the rechamber speed is only a little bit slower than the intervention, so statistically, it's not that bad. But the weapon as a whole is a little hard to talk about. It's a sniper rifle, where the effectiveness is almost entirely dependent on your skill, your playstyle, and your build. It's a very subjective weapon, and because of this, some people find the FT-300 really bad, and some people find it really good. By default though, it only has one shot, like I said, and unlike the BFG-50, it doesn't have that much range. The default ammo can one-shot kill to the body up to 115 studs, which is pretty good by regular bolt-action rifle standards, but this rifle rechambers quite a bit slower than most bolt actions. Operating under that range, you know, under 115 studs, is pretty risky, but also operating at a two-shot kill body shot range is not ideal either, since you have to reload for the second shot and it can get a little disorienting. The FT-300, by default, really doesn't have a lot going for it. Technically, it has quite a bit of walk speed for how much one-shot range you get, but it still doesn't make up for being a pretty slow rifle. Hell, we can directly compare the default FT-300 to the Intervention, and you will find that the Intervention has way more range while it's firing ever so slightly faster than the FT-300. So with the FT-300, you gotta play a bit like a rat. You peek, you get a shot off, and then you run or duck to cover immediately to reload. You can't afford to hang around. Also, since it doesn't have much one-shot body shot range, flanking is a pretty good option for this rifle as well. This is foreshadowing by the way, keep this in mind. Now let's talk about the attachments and conversions, since they do help quite a bit and can help adjust the weapon to be a little more favorable to different playstyles. The FT-300 has four different conversions. It's a lot. With the exception of the .22 long rifle conversion, all of these are just stats adjustments, they don't really affect the general playstyle of the rifle. I won't be talking about the .22 long rifle conversion at all in this video by the way. It's a really unique conversion, and I think it deserves its own video. Here's the one shot body shot ranges for all the conversions I'll be talking about. To summarize each of these conversions quickly, 6XC reduces range but increases muzzle velocity, 7.5 by 55 increases your range by quite a bit but significantly reduces your muzzle velocity and slows down to your rechambering rate. The .308 Winchester increases range quite a bit and reduces muzzle velocity quite a bit. It's a bit of a middle ground for the 7.5. So the 6XE is geared more towards playing like a regular sniper and sticking to the bat since it reduces your range and increases muzzle velocity. 7.5 by 55 is an aggressive but more riskier conversion since it slows down the gun even more. The .308 Winchester is a pretty minor tweak but it does give you a bit more one-shot body shot range. Okay, this isn't all for build variety though. Since, the FT-300 also has a few unique attachments that will help adjust the weapon even more. Firstly, the Integral Suppressor, unlocked for free, increases your body multiplier and reduces your muzzle velocity. 
this barrel attachment basically gives you like more one shot body shot range for free. Granted, you can deal with the reduced muzzle velocity. As it is an integral suppressor, you will never show up on the radar while using it, which means that this is perfect for flanking. Maybe with like an aggressive flanking build with the 7.5x55 conversion, or just with the 0.308 conversion. And since we're talking about flanking and aggressive play, removing the stock is also an amazing option for this, since more walk speed is always welcome, and the downsides basically don't exist on the FT300. Finally, it's time to talk about the marksman kit. Unlocked at 2000 kills, the FT300 has a unique marksman kit that entirely redefines how the weapon works. It actually gives the FT300 a magazine in addition to the usual marksman kit benefits. And it also slows down your walk speed as well as reduces your range. Things just got a lot more complicated. If you look at the new stats with default ammo, it's comparable to the TRG-42 now, in fact I would say that it's better than the TRG, and if you use the 6XC conversion with the marksman kit, I'd say it becomes a pretty good backline sniper. You can really just experiment a lot with the marksman kit, I personally don't use it though. So I think that's all. So in conclusion, the FT-300 is a mess. It can do a whole lot of different things. And if you follow my normal weapon spotlight series, you will know that I like to give a tier rating on weapons. I honestly don't think I can rate the FE 300 as a whole. The effectiveness is too build dependent and subjective for me to really just give a straight answer. What I can say for certain though, is that this is a very fun sniper regardless of build. And if this video piqued your interest about it, just buy it and have fun with it. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching and see you next time.